Hello, and welcome to Dippin' Dots how-to video for Converting an EL11 storage freezer to a serving freezer. First, let's look at the tools we'll need. We're going to start by needing a screw gun or a drill, a 5-64th drill bit, a T25 Torx bit, a longer bit works better, a T15 Torx bit, and a standard Phillips head bit. We'll start by removing the upper and lower hinge covers from the back of the storage freezer. Once the covers are off, you can see this exposes the screws that we'll need to loosen to remove the lid. This next step is for your safety. These hinges are under quite a bit of tension, and they can cause an injury if they were to snap. So for safety, we're going to open the lid of the freezer. As you can see, this releases all the tension on the hinge. Next, using our T25 Torx bit, we're going to loosen all of the screws on the bottom part of the hinge. They don't have to be removed all the way, just loosen them enough to where the hinge will easily slide off of the freezer. We're going to repeat this step for both sides, making a total of eight screws. We can now remove the lid from our freezer. To do this, grip the lid firmly and pull up on it, and also pull away from the back of the freezer. It may require a little bit of wiggling in order to get it to come free, but it will. Now we'll just re-tighten all of our hinge screws where the hinges used to be. This is just for safety as the holes where the screws were can be quite sharp. Now we'll remove the striker from the front of our freezer. We'll do this using our T15 Torx bit. As mentioned before, the screw holes can be sharp, so we're going to go ahead and put the screws from the striker back into the holes. This will not interfere with the installation of the rail. Now that the freezer is prepped, we can go ahead and unbox our new rail. Simply pull it out of the box, and then just set it to the side so that way the rest of the pack material can be removed. Once unboxed, we're going to take our new rail and we're going to set it on top of the freezer and press it firmly into place. As a note, remember to make sure the part of your new rail that has the lock on it is on the same side of the freezer as the thermostat, as this is the front. Now we can retrieve our key and also our rail screws from inside between the lids of the new rail. We'll go ahead and remove our key from the bag and place it into the lock just so it doesn't get lost. Now we're going to locate the four holes on the sides of the rail. We're going to use our 5 64th drill bit to just drill a small pilot hole in each one of these four holes. This makes it easier to put the screws in. Now we just use our regular Phillips bit to install the four provided screws into the rail. And there you have it. This storage to server conversion is complete. Thank you very much for watching.